Hi, I'm Bill Hitchcock. Shrimp bycatch is one of the primary reasons why some have pushed to ban shrimp trawling on the inside waters in North Carolina. The most common justification used for the ban is the claim for every pound of shrimp caught, there is four pounds of bycatch. Although the bycatch poundage ratio may vary, lobbying groups and even some government agencies have been using these types of ratios for years. For example, in a Marine Fisheries Commission meeting in 2024, the following was said about shrimp trawls. I grew up all my life um, fishing recreationally in uh, North Carolina. Uh, a lot of the talk around, you know, flounder and trout is around dead discards, but um, we have still failed to address the massive amount of dead fish produced in our trawlers, fishery for shrimp. Um, I think the pretty well established and accepted number is three pounds of bycatch for every one pound of shrimp. In 2025, Senator David Craven introduced an amendment to House Bill 442 that would ban inshore shrimp trawling. His reason? As many of you know, there's bycatch that is a comes with the shrimp trawling. Uh, it is estimated that for every pound we harvest of shrimp, uh, four pounds of bycatch, which is uh, a lot of other species of fish that's getting caught in the net, uh, the potentially dying, having issues after. This has been an issue for quite some time, and I think it's time this body addressed it. I'll entertain any questions, Mr. Chair. In advance of that Senate meeting on House Bill 442, the Coastal Conservation Association of North Carolina, a lobbying group, sent out a mass email encouraging everyone to support the amended bill because as they claim, For every pound of shrimp harvested, more than four pounds of non-target species are caught, discarded, and wasted. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, which operates as an independent state government agency, sent out a similar email. There is no doubt that technology and better designed excluder devices have decreased the impacts to sea turtles and larger fish. However, bycatch of juvenile fish, flounder, spot, croaker, etc., is still significant, with reports of bycatch as high as four pounds of bycatch for every one pound of shrimp harvested. Now, when I read that email, I immediately reached out to the commission and asked, could you please state the source for the four to one catch bycatch ratio used, please? In short, where did this information come from? The commission responded by sending me a 10 year old, 165 page document and instructed me to take a look at the attached and see if that helps answer your question. Interesting. Why wouldn't the commission answer a simple and direct question? I did read the document, all of it, and found nothing that said four pounds of bycatch for every one pound of shrimp harvested as they had claimed. So I contacted the commission again and said, I have looked through the document and cannot find a mention of the four to one shrimp bycatch ratio. Could you ask the author of the emailer where they got that number, please? The commission responded by copying the abstract of the report and made a point to highlight one little section that read 18% and 41% of the total observed catch by weight in estuarine waters. That's not a four to one ratio. In fact, nowhere in the entire report is there any mention of four pounds of bycatch for every one pound of shrimp harvested as the Wildlife Resources Commission stated in their email to the public. But here's something I notice: Regardless of which group making the four to one claim, all of them kept repeating the same one word. Every, for every pound of shrimp harvested, there's more than four pounds of bycatch. Every is an absolute. And in this context, it's saying that all shrimp trawls, whenever they are fishing, always harvest four times as much bycatch as they do shrimp. And that's just simply not the case. So why is it? It's because the word every creates a constant in which they can extrapolate from actual shrimp landings, creating an erroneous and often exaggerated conclusion for bycatch. Uh, NC's averaged about 8 million pounds of shrimp caught over the last five years. That comes out to about 25 million pounds of bycatch, uh, depending on the makeup of that bycatch, how big those fish are. That's hundreds of millions of juvenile fish um, killed every year in our shrimp trawl fishery. So where did this four to one ratio come from? At a 2013 Marine Fisheries Commission meeting, there was a petition 
to reclassify certain coastal waters that would effectively ban inshore shrimp trawling in North Carolina. From the transcript of that meeting, we see the petitioner quoted as saying, We now know that according to Director Daniel, around 4.5 pounds of finfish perish for every one pound of shrimp harvested. There's that word again, every. Now the petitioner can extrapolate upon a false premise to draw whatever conclusion they wish. Using around 4.8 million pounds of shrimp harvested annually, we get 21,849,201 pounds, or 10,900 tons of bycatch, collateral damage caught in our estuary. That's not science. That's an extrapolation, a fabrication. The four and a half pound bycatch to one pound of shrimp ratio claim was immediately denounced by the very author of that ratio, Dr. Lewis Daniel, who at the time was the director of the North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries. From the transcript, we see that Dr. Daniel said, Let me start off by making as clear as, I don't want to say it's an apology, but the issue of the 4.5 to one, I was under extraordinary pressure to come up with a number. It's not a good estimate. It's not the appropriate way to characterize bycatch. It's been misused. There you have it. It's not good estimate. It's not the appropriate way to characterize bycatch. It's been misused. So what is a good number? What is the accurate ratio of shrimp to bycatch? I contacted the Division of Marine Fisheries and asked them, what number is NCDMF currently using for shrimp trawl bycatch and poundage? They responded quickly and concisely with, There is no accepted number or ratio of bycatch to shrimp. The ratio method overestimates bycatch and assumes a positive linear relationship between bycatch species and the target species, which is not the case. The fact is, there is no accepted number or ratio of bycatch to shrimp. And here's just one example of this just not being the case. This showcases the falsity and fallacy of using the word every with the claim of the four to one bycatch ratio. And really, when you stop and think about it, the answer should be rather obvious. Do you catch the exact same number of targeted species every time you go fishing? Do you catch the exact same number of untargeted species every time you go fishing? The answer is obviously no. The claim for every pound of shrimp caught, there is four pounds of bycatch, is a misnomer. It's incorrect, it's not science, and it's just plain wrong. And this has been well known for many, many years. So the real question is, why is it still being used by certain user groups? I'm Bill Hitchcock.